and Sarah. So just noticed this, or my sister-in-law just noticed this in the bar after six beers, and then before six beers. It took me a while to see it, but once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. There's an old lady there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Taking a birthday picture because the next time we're here, we're leaving too early to have one. Breakfast is done. We are going to go for another walk, maybe to a bit of a different place. Oi! You okay? Oh, my gosh. Just fell on the side of the thing, the um, pavement. Um, yeah, sorry, I got distracted then. So we are now going for a walk. This is Jeff's sister, Atta Jeanette. This is our friend, Perseus. And this is Atta Ia, Jeff's auntie. So we're now going to go for a walk before we take Atta Ia back. And then we, this afternoon, are going to go to a place called Iriga, which is not far from where we are. We might be going there this morning too, to get on to transport so that we can get on a jeepney, I think it is, to the resort that we're going to be staying at for the next two nights. MTBK Hotel is where we stayed at in Bateau and another strange coincidence was when Jeff was talking to somebody and realised they actually used to work together 20 odd years ago in Manila and he's now the manager of the hotel we stayed in. Very small world. Yay! So this is the terminal for the jeepneys which is where we're going to get on to go to Iruga. <laughs> A bumpy ride, not as long. I, it wasn't an hour, was it? It wasn't an hour's journey, but it was meant to be about an hour. I think it was about 45 minutes. My auntie said it's because I was having so much fun. It wasn't bad at all. And I dried my hair, which is a bonus because it was wet. Ah. Well, there we are. This is Perseus's cousin. have a little wonder because there is a little sign inside the patio in front of the church saying I love Iriga City so it's a photo opportunity so we're gonna have a little look and get some pictures. The hat is on I forgot it yesterday when we we're on that really long walk so today I thought right I'm making sure that I've got it I've got my sun cream in my bag I have already got a couple of uh, 
bites, but three is nothing for me because I think one time I was here I had way over a hundred. So yeah, oh, tough. Ayoko. So I think we're just gonna have a little wander. Ah, uh, yeah. And there's a, a man selling taho. And I'm back. What's your taste like? Mm -hmm. It's sweet. It's kind of like bubble tea. Don't tell me it's not. It's got the little soya beans in it, and I don't know what this is. It's like it's a good, um, it's a pearl. That's the white stuff. That was the white stuff. No, the white. Pearl. That is that is Brown the caramel, caramel sugar. No, the white is the, white. the tofu. The taho. Oh, the to oh. This, that is the soya. So it's the soya, but it's kind of like a custardy consistency. Very nice. That is the uh, the tofu. Mm. That's really nice. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Big thumbs. So this is a busy street. This is an armored vehicle, like the security ones you would get carrying the cash in the UK. Lots and lots and lots of tricycles, like lots of tricycles, and then maybe the odd jeepney and the odd car come in as well. There's a car reverse in here, but there's not a huge amount of actual private transport on the road because it's mainly public transport, which is made mostly the um, tricycles. So I think we're making our way now to the mall, which will be welcome for me because I just like to be in Acon sometimes. I can handle the heat more than I used to be able to, which is definitely a good thing since I'm in a very hot country. And just behind there is the park that we just came from. Oh, here we go, into the shopping centre we go. So it turns out it was just a grocery store and not a shopping mall like we thought. So we're on our way trying to find the shopping mall in Iriga City, which is where we are now. So I don't mind spending the day in a shopping centre because it's lovely and it's air conditioned. <laughs> I don't mind, do I, Dad? No. Spending the day in a shopping centre. No. However, I think I've actually coped really well with the heat because usually I'm miserable, complaining. I just think because it's been such a long time that I've been here, that I'm more appreciative. I'm older as well, so I think your mindset changes as well, the older you get. So, yeah, that's why I think I'm enjoying it so much. This time. Not that I haven't enjoyed it before, so maybe that was the wrong thing to say. I said normally I don't cope very well with the heat. But I feel like I've cut back to this time, yeah. haven't I? Yeah. I have, definitely. So even now, mind you, my hat is making a massive difference. And it, we're in the shade now, so that's better. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Hello. 
<laughs> Just come into the mall, you have to wear your face mask, it's very hot. And I've met these lovely children. Beda, who's 12. Hi. <laughs> So we're now in Chowking, we've got some takeout to take back to the hotel because I think we all feel like if we go to Jeff's dad's again, it's like a party every time we go there for food. So they're preparing like a fiesta meal every single time and we don't want them to do that again because it's so much work for them. So we are getting a takeaway, taking it back to the hotel and we've got some Halo Halo. I don't know how that is going to fare because Halo Halo has got ice cream in it. So by the time we get back to the hotel, it's probably just going to be milkshake, but we're fine with that because it's going to be cold. So our Halo Halo is ready before the show bow, which is probably not a good thing because now that's ready and it's going to melt before we actually receive the next meal. Quite a lot, and we're on our way to the bus terminal. I think we're not going to go back by Jeepney just because Jeff gets into his head. We are going. Okay, correction. We are going on the Jeepney because there's no bus. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. We made it back to the hotel. We've got our show king. Show king? Show king from Chow Pow. Show Pow from Chow King. Try again. Hi, Knuckle. Anyway, the main purpose of this is to say we've made it back. I survived the jeepney ride in the heat, look at me. And I'm never ever gonna complain about being cold again because that's what I did this morning. I said, my feet were like ice blocks, I couldn't sleep. Now I'm boiling, so I'm complaining about that. I'm not really. But we're here. You do know I'm recording. <laughs> Sorry. So we're gonna have some food. We brought some Halo Halo with us. We brought the show pow. And we're going to eat and then probably sleep because we all had interrupted sleep last night and we're really, really tired before we go away later on today. And this is my dinner today. I have a show pow, as I just explained, but I said it all wrong, with some hot sauce and then halo halo for afters with some orange juice. Minute made pulpy. This is halo halo, which we probably could have done with while we were on the... Uh, Oh, Jeepney, because it was so hot. Yeah, yeah. But we're having it now. Halo halo means mix mix. And all the ingredients that are in there, you mix it all together and it's like, it's just so nice. It's like a dessert. Or it could be like a drink. It is a rainy day. In Bato, very rainy. Hey! <laughs> wow! Well, we're off. Oh no, don't do that! No! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Good catch. Wow. Well, here! Well, everyone is there in a jeepney waiting for us. We are going to a resort. It's called Victoria Bay, and this is the whole family. So all Jeff's brothers and sisters and their boyfriends and girlfriends and husbands and wives and the children, his father, his stepmother, 
and then behind us we've got an entourage because we wouldn't all fit in the jeepney so there are four people following behind on motorbikes I don't know how or oh how you do it you blow my mind without a word oh stuck upside down I might be dreaming there's no way back now take every inch of my body wanna dance with you all night long dive in back you know we can't stop this come on and show me what you got cause Well, we've arrived at this lovely resort. They've got some lovely sayings, quotes, quotes, yeah, quotes, on the little wall. On the little wall, it's a grass wall. And this is where we are. We are in Victoria Bay Resort in Oas, or Oas. I, well, I don't know how to pronounce it. Please don't laugh at my pronunciation. But this weather is outstanding. I was fine in the jeepney because this is what we arrived in, all of us. Well, not all of us, actually. So most of us were in there and then there were four motorbikes behind with my brother-in-laws and the girlfriends and they followed us here and this is going to be our home for the next couple of nights. So it was lovely in the jeepney actually because it was air conditioned, well it wasn't air conditioned but you had the natural air so it felt like it was air conditioned. So I think we're going to check in and have a look at where we're staying and then probably go to the beach which is just that way. <laughs> come in, come in. Well, this looks absolutely blinking beautiful. I can see the sea over there through the trees. There's a dirty kitchen down there with a fridge and some greenery. This is a bedroom. Oh, which is air conditioned and blinking gorgeous. Wow. Very nice. And now I need to shut the door. So that's good for quite a lot of people. This. Loads. Nice. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. And that goes through to the dirty kitchen. Is that a toilet? Bathroom. Wow. Oh, this is so lovely. It's so big. But there are an awful lot of us. An awful lot of us. So this is the villa. And I think it's good for about 26 people, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll double check that later. Yeah. But there's... Is it two bedrooms? No, I think there's more out there. No, there's only one. Oh, all right. Yeah. There's only one room. One room, four beds up there, and one room with four beds down here. Oh, and I left my shoes on. Whoops. Some nice quotes on the wall. And then a perfect one about family. I love it. And then there's an outdoor area which has got a little gazebo and some seating places and some more seating places and that's where we came in just over there 
there is a swimming pool just here but I think it's being cleaned out but just beyond the pool you can see the sea so even if it's not working while we're here it's not a big deal but hopefully it will be because it's right outside where we're staying so that's the villa that we've booked fun blinking tastic oh and the most important thing is the video key <laughs> because they do love a sing song in this family, let me tell you. Let's have a little look at the beach and see what that's got to offer. Oh, they look lovely. It looks like the tide is really close. I'm going to turn you around so you can see too. That wasn't even a very good angle at all, was it? I'm going to turn you around now. The tide is in. Really in, yeah, close in. Close in. Oh, well, look, they got got um, things you can do as well. Wow, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that view. Oh, my days. Oh, is a dog following you? Oh, hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. See, this is the trouble. This is the trouble. There are so many strays here that I just want to take them all home with me and rescue them, but I clearly can't because there's far too many. Hello. Oh, and I just want to take them all home with me or feed them all or something and I like, get told off when I want to do that. It's not good. There you go. How's that for a lovely view? Oh wow. This is beautiful. And this is where we're staying for the next couple of nights. So let's turn this off and go and enjoy. I am absolutely loving all of these coats they've got around. Dance with the waves, moves with the sea, moves, <laughs> start again shall I? Dance with the waves, move with the sea, let the rhythm of the water set your soul free. Oh, how gorgeous is that? And I really have got a friend. This little puppy is not leaving me alone. Victoria Bay, oh, there you go, look at that. In big letters. I think what I'm gonna have to do is a separate video just about the resort, because it looks really good. It's very well set out. I can see the Eiffel Tower <laughs> just through there. <laughs> in high tide or in low tide, I will be by your side. I'm loving all the coats that are around here everywhere. So this is the tree, the dreff. <laughs> the Jeff made me eat one of those yesterday. What is it called? Camias. Camias. There we are. And they grow on the bark. Do they not grow on there as well? On the? Mm -hmm. They just grow on the branches? It grows everywhere. Oh yeah, it grows everywhere. And he did show me a mango tree down there somewhere. I don't know where that was. It was over there. Mango tree? I can't remember. Is that a mango tree there? No. They all look so the same. I don't know. Well, hello there, Mr. Frog. <laughs> well, we've had a lovely afternoon in the pool, or early evening, I should say, and now we're having some dinner. <laughs> and there's so many of us. There's some of us are all over this side. Hey! <laughs> and here. I don't think so. <laughs> they also have invited me for shots. I don't drink, so I definitely won't be doing shots. Not tonight could get messy. And they've invited me for shots, even though I don't drink. I'm gonna have to avoid it though. But let's see if I can. So we're just sitting here, minding our own business, when we think it's the bats eating. Ooh, feels weird. Eating the fruit and it's just fallen and hit Jeff. Talisai fruit apparently. So there's loads of them on the floor and somebody said that it's the um, it's the bats in the tree eating the fruit from it, which is quite cute. When we were in the pool earlier, they were literally inches from your face. They were flying past, swooping down into the water. 
because I don't think it's a chlorine pool. I think it's my, it might be fresh water. I'm not sure. I will find out tomorrow when we spend probably the whole day there. Oh my God, I can't cope. These dogs are so beautiful. Look at them. I've got another two now. Well, a lovely, lovely first day. And tomorrow we've got a boat trip planned, so that should be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe or consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.